Hi, I'm Aaron Ryan with NUG Mortgage latest video blog. I am a strong believer in that being organized will help make the loan application process go more smoothly. Today, I will be discussing all the necessary documentation needed to complete the loan application. There are four pillars to a mortgage loan application and supporting documentation will request allow us to analyze a loan file. The four pillars are employment, income, credit, and assets. While there are several additional questions on the Uniform Residential Loan Application and other documents we request, these items ultimately support the four pillars. Let's start by diving a little deeper into the first pillar, employment. One primary component required to qualify for a mortgage is to demonstrate stable employment and employment history. For borrowers that work for a company that are not self-employed, the general rule of thumb is that you should be continuously employed for at least two years with the same company or two years of continuous employment in the same industry. Exceptions include when starting new work right after completing a degree or professional training. For example, an attorney who begins employment after completing law school will generally be considered stable as they went right from education to the targeted profession. For self-employed borrowers, the same two-year guideline is acceptable. A self-employed borrower will need to demonstrate that the business has existed for at least two years and that the borrower will need to show two years of personal tax returns to demonstrate stability of the business. Now let's take a look at the second pillar, income. As part of a loan application, we will request copies of pay stubs, W-2s, and tax returns to determine the income used to qualify for a mortgage. Each category of income is balanced separately, including base, bonuses, commissions, and overtime, generally using a two-year and year-to-date average to get a conservative and stable snapshot of your income. Depending on the complexity of the borrower, additional documents such as a K-1, business tax returns, P&Ls, and other items may be required. This is particularly important for self-employed borrowers. The third pillar is credit, and this includes much more than just your credit score. While each loan program has its own guidelines, all of your credit scores from the three major reporting bureaus are considered when applying for a mortgage. For most programs, a higher credit score results in better rates and more flexibility on other aspects of the approval process. We also dive deeper to analyze payment history and generate a monthly debt liability via the minimum payments on items like credit cards, auto loans, student loans, and other reported items. The score is only part of the puzzle and just an indicator of the credit profile, which is why a full mortgage credit report is necessary. Now let's take a look at the final pillar, assets. When talking about assets, we're generally looking to confirm stable personal account balances to satisfy down payment and closing costs. In addition, we must confirm any reserves that are required by lender guidelines. As a rule of thumb, assets must be seasoned for at least 60 days in the borrower's account, or all new deposits must be explained and verified from an eligible source. Eligible asset types for mortgage loans include, but are not limited to, checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, stocks, and retirement accounts. Showing the lender an ability to save money strengthens a loan application, while having reserves for emergencies help a borrower take on the new loan obligation. Understanding the four pillars, employment, income, credit, and assets, help borrowers position themselves for success when completing a loan application. At NGG Mortgage, we help our borrowers complete their loan application to ensure success throughout the entire loan process. I am Aaron Ryan with NGG Mortgage, and thanks for watching our latest video blog.